Hello, it's Diane. Um, I'm about to start working on some ephemera pieces for the upcoming journals that I'll be working on. <coughs> but I had some comments on my video of the boho journals about the watercolor pages that I did. Um, somebody wanted to know how I got the effect. So I'm going to show you the three different types of paper. It's all on ledger paper that I did that on. Um, but there are three different papers in here, and so the effects are different with each one. This is a vintage billhead paper, and this side right, this edge right here is where I did the watercolor effect, and then I just sprayed over here, because I just did the watercolor on the edge. And let me show you the other side of that paper, because you can see a little more color here. You can kind of see a squiggly line going here, which wasn't very visible on the other paper, on the other side, but this is the same kind of paper. So it does a really nice blending. <coughs> Pardon me. And then in this signature, the ledger paper was not vintage. It's a new paper. And you can see the line, the squiggly lines that I did much more clearly. There's a pink and a purple line here. I tried to do this video once already. I started it, but then I couldn't find my spray bottle of water. So fortunately, there, there's the other side. You can see it even more clearly there, the lines. So they didn't blend and blur in as much. And on this one, this is a vintage one, but probably not as old as the billhead paper. But I like the way this looks. You can still see the line, but it did become blurry and blended in more. Anyway, there's the other side of that. I really like the way that one looks. I did have another uh, clean bottle, so I just put some water in it, and I, now I think we're ready to go. So, <coughs> I did already talk about, but you didn't get to hear it. What I was doing was just playing around with this new uh, medium that I bought, and it's um, Arteza Real Brush Pens. So they have water-based ink in them. And I just wanted to kind of play with them that, that day that I was making those journals. So that's what I did. I was just playing. So I got started on this before I realized I didn't have my spray bottle of water. I just took my acrylic block, which definitely needs to be cleaned, as you can see. And I just um, took two different shades of green. These are the brush pens and they have the ink inside water-based ink and I just brushed them rubbed them on there pretty close together so there's two different shades of ink on there and then I will just spray to wet it and then I just took this big brush soft brush and took the color and just scribbled it down the side of the paper I think that ink sat there on my block a little too long while I started the video over, but we're going to go with it because there isn't very much color there. I think we'll add just a little more. So you could probably try this with just whatever watercolors you have. And I sprayed the paper, too. Actually, I think I drew the squiggly line before I sprayed the paper. I'm going to dry that. I'll just take a kind of a contrasting but it's in the same it's kind of a green it's called teal actually and but it's darker so I'm just gonna do a squiggly line here and I'll do this one that's called seaweed green Let's see how that looks And again spray it and this is the newer paper so I don't think it's as absorbent 
but you can see it blurring a little bit. But maybe it's not blurring as much because I dried it in between. I'm going to try that again with the same colors. Oh, this is the one I used for the squiggly line. That's okay. We'll paint with it. Since, this has, since we've been working on this side, you can see how this has continued to bleed and blend. So, I did dry the other papers that I used, but I let them bleed for a while before I dried them. So you can see this is starting to look more blended and more blurry. Bleed, blend, blur. So I'm going to set this paper aside. I don't want to put it on my carpet without protection under it because it might bleed through. We'll try a different paper. This is an older paper. And we'll try different colors. We'll try the pinks. Whoops. Pay attention to what you're doing. Get some paper towel here to dry my acrylic block off. Actually, I'm going to be working on a masculine journal, so maybe I'll try more neutral color palette. This color is Orange Rust. And this one is Chamomile. That's pretty light, kind of a yellowish green almost. I'm thinking maybe I sprayed the paper before I started painting because the the color went on better the first time I did it so I'll try that too. I'll try spraying this paper. This paper feels, oh goodness, it's more vintage and it's thinner. It just started curling up immediately when I sprayed it. So let's see what the difference is when you wet the paper first, because I think that may be what I did. that's what I did or not. Didn't seem to make that much difference. Okay, so for the squiggly line, I don't know why I did the squiggly line. I was, like I said, I was just playing and trying to add a little more color. This one is called Tawny. And I'm going to go to the oranges. This one is called Cadmium Orange. The 
This one is called Chocolate. And this is this is just orange. that blend a little. Um, it looks like the ink on this paper, the blue ink that was printed on the paper is bleeding a little bit. It's being wet. Alright, this is the one, this one blended quite well I think, in the book. Get it on that side. <clears throat> try blue here. This one is sapphire blue. That's beautiful. And this one is blueberry. I like that better already and I think it's because I used a little more of the ink on my acrylic block and maybe put a little more water in it so it does go on the paper better we'll go with a purple so this one is eggplant purple Arctic blue. You see the ink moving as I spray, so this paper works really well, and and it's going to blur the line much more effectively. I didn't necessarily want the swirly lines to show. I just was adding more color and just seeing what would happen. So that, that looks really good. I like that one. Let's see what the first one looks like. So this one isn't going to be... This one is blended more, but has more bleeding. And this one might still be working. I don't know, but I still like it. But you can definitely, definitely see the lines. Where here, the line is just about gone. And the ink just runs. So maybe it's that this water is less absorbent. I mean this paper. Today's Monday, and I did go to the flea market today. My daughter-in-law got to go today for the first time with her sister, so I met them down there. And I did bring some things home, so I'll be doing a video later. Usually I do the video pretty much as soon as I get home, but <coughs> I couldn't do it right away this time. Oh, I really like the way it works on this paper. So let's test the theory of less absorbent because I punched some shapes out of um, scraps of manila cardstock and they're definitely not absorbent. 
my um, battery light is flashing, so I hope that it doesn't cut off, but if it does, you'll know why. I'm going to try the pink on this one. This one is rouge pink, and this one is bubble bath pink. When I looked at that color, I thought bubble gum pink, but no, it's bubble bath pink. whole thing. Not much color there. I want to add a little color. This one is neon pink. Wisteria Purple. And Light Magenta. Yeah, they definitely run better. But not they still isn't run it still isn't running as well as that one paper. That was like instant. You can see where the color in the water collected along the edge. It's darker there. Oh, it's really not running so much. Maybe I mopped up too much water with that brush. So I don't know why it works better on that paper, but it does. So, here's that paper that it works so well on. I could dry that now because it's pretty much all blended. doesn't need any more blending. still wet. Here's the first one we did and you can still really see the lines.
a, a nice way to add some color to the edges of your papers. Here's the tag. Okay, well, I hope that that answers questions about how I did the watercoloring on those papers, and um, I hope that you have fun experimenting with whatever media you have in your craft room, in your supplies. Have fun playing, and I'm going to be back. I'm going to change my battery and come back with, I just knocked some stamps off my table, with um, another video I'm going to make some more of these which I'm making for the masculine journal that I'm creating that I'm going to start creating so I thought that I would create some of, some more of these tags with you so I'll be back bye bye